Today I'm going to show you how to resize your image in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome to DVW Learn. My name is Amandeep Singh. I get this question very often that how do I resize my image so that I can print it on a larger canvas or maybe how do I resize it to make it smaller so that I can easily share it on the website or send it via email. So let's quickly see how we can do that in Photoshop CC 2017. So let's quickly jump into image size in image menu. The first option tells you that this is a 51 megabyte file but believe me it's not. This is a JPEG file of 8 megabytes but why would it show you 51 megabytes? The reason behind that is when you open a JPEG in Photoshop it opens up as a PSD file and when you save this file with all of its layers as a PSD this is going to save with the size of 51 megabytes and that's the reason it shows you 51 megabytes so let's make sure that we do not get confused in your 8 megabyte size of the file of the JPEG and 51 megabyte shown up here on the screen the next option shows you that this is a 5000 pixel wide image now what does pixels mean We'll talk about that in a moment. I also have options to change the units to percentage, inches and whatnot, but I'm going to leave that on pixels. Then it gives me option to change width and height and you can see that there is a chain connecting both width and height together and this really means that if I change one of those, the other one changes automatically, which is a good thing because we do not want to end up warping our image. But in case you need to, you can click on this chain and unchain both of them and make changes to one at a time. I'm going to undo that because I do not want to change one of them. Now, the next option here is resolution. And resolution is shown in pixel per inches or pixel per centimeters. Resolution in plain English is nothing but the quality of the image. But to understand the logic behind it, we would need to understand pixels first. So let me quickly cancel that and I'll jump on to the second image here. Now you see there are a few boxes with different colors filled in. What are these boxes? These boxes are nothing but pixels. I have this image zoomed in to 3200% and this 3200% zoomed in image shows me the pixels that it's made up of. So this is the logical representation of a pixel and if I just zoom out you will see how these pixels come together to make your image look like this. So let's jump back to the first image again and go back to image size. Now once we understand what resolution or what pixels are, let's quickly see how all of these come together to help me resize my image. So let's say I want to resize my image from 17 inches wide to 25 inches because I want to print it on a 25 inch wide canvas. But before I do that, let me quickly cancel the resample option and we'll definitely going to talk about what resample is. Now here you will notice that as soon as I uncheck resample, it does clearly one thing for me. It is connecting not only width and height, it's also connecting resolution with that chain. And what does that mean? Yes, you're right. If I make changes to my width, it's not only going to change the height but it's also going to make changes to resolution and let's quickly see how does that work so I'm going to bump up the number from 17 to 25 and notice the changes that I'm going to see here so we'll talk about the changes in image size 
in dimension, width, height and resolution and how unchecking resample is different from leaving it on. So if I increase the number from 17 to 25 now, you'll see that image size is still the same, dimensions are still the same, width obviously is being changed from 17 to 25, height increased to 16 inches automatically because it's connected to width, but it decreased your resolution from 300 to 200 because again this is connected to width as well but what does that really mean if I decrease the resolution like I said this is the quality of the image and if I'm increasing the size of the width or if I'm trying to print it on a larger canvas I am actually compromising on the quality of the image because it just decreased the resolution so how all of this is coming together and what's happening in the background. Now if you'll do the maths here, width is 25 inches and resolution is 207.36 pixel per inches. And if you multiply width by resolution, it comes out to be 5184 pixels wide exactly. Now it doesn't matter what number I change my width to. The resolution changes accordingly so that it can ensure that your dimension is still the same which is 5184 pixels. So in short if you uncheck resample it ensures that your dimension in pixels are going to be the same and in plain English what does that mean? That means the number of pixels or the number of color boxes that you saw a moment ago they are going to remain the same or I should say the information of the image is going to remain the same. So Photoshop is not going to add anything or remove anything from your picture. All it's doing is reallocating those pixels in different inches. So it would still have 5000 odd pixels if I have 17 inches wide image but it's going to adjust 300 pixels in one inch but if I increase the width to 25 again it still have the same number of color boxes or information or pixels for that matter but it's again reallocating those pixels in every inch and change it to 207 pixels per inches right now maybe this is not what I want I definitely want to increase the size from 17 to 25 but I really do not want to compromise on the quality or the resolution of the image how do I do that? It's resample. So once you resample, the first thing you will notice again that it's connecting width and height by chain, but resolution is not dependent on both of them, right? And if I make the changes from 17 to 25 now, you'll see the height change for sure, but there are a few other things change with that. And the first thing you will notice here that the image size changed to 110 megabyte and it was 51 megabytes, so it's double the size. And the reason why the image size changed is because the number of pixels increased in the image. So it was 5184 pixels and now it's 7624 pixels. That means nothing but you have increased the information in the picture and how did you do that you used Photoshop algorithms mentioned here but if you leave it on automatic it's going to choose one of those for you bottom line is that leaving resample on allows your Photoshop to do the maths behind the scene and add those color boxes or I should say make up those color boxes to increase the number of pixels in the image and in that way you are able to increase the width from 17 inches to 25 inches but still keep your resolution to 300 pixel per inches which is a good thing but understand there is a limit to what Photoshop can make up for you so you cannot have one inch wide image bumped up to 1000 inches wide image and you ask Photoshop to resample it 
and make up the information. So that's not going to happen. Photoshop would definitely try and do that, but the result that you're going to get, you might not like it. So that's how you bump up your image from 17 to 25 and still keep your resolution or quality of the image at the high end. On the contrary, if you want to decrease the size from 17 to let's say 10 inches, it's again the same story. You can change the number from 17 to 10 and you will see if you leave resample on, your resolution is still going to be the same. But what it really does is it decreases the file size from 51 megabyte to 17 megabytes. If you leave this option off and now change the width from 17 to 10 inches, you will see that though it's decreasing the width and you can expect the file size to be smaller, but it's not really getting smaller anyway because you have resample off. Again, I'm going to reiterate myself. If you leave resample off and resize width and height, it really does not make any changes to the information or the number of pixels that you have. All it does is it reallocates those pixels per inches. So in this case, because I decrease the size from 17 to 10, though I'm supposed to have a smaller file size, but I still have the same information, which is 5000 pixels. This ensures that my file size is same. So what I need to do now, I will just quickly undo that and turn on resample. And now if I change 17 to 10 to decrease the file size, you will see up on the top, it was 51 megabytes and now it's 17 megabytes. And the dimension has decreased from 5000 to 3000 pixels or 3000 color boxes in width. And how Photoshop is able to do that is again using one of the algorithms to reduce the number of boxes. And the algorithm ensures that even when you reduce those number of color boxes, your image should look like what it was before and in short you're still keeping your resolution the same and your image size goes down because if you do the maths now width multiplied by resolution is 3000 which is lesser than what you had before and in turn have a lesser image size so that's it from me for image size guys if you like this video and if you like to see more of this kind please hit subscribe below if you have any questions or want to request any specific topic to be included in the next video, please comment below and I'll pick it up from there. Thank you. Have a good day.